your high friends allow me to make an intro you know i'm still new with this youtube thing what is this piece of hair doing what the and we're back the makeup that you're gonna see in this video is not what i have on my face right now this was a very much quick one two three i gotta get out the door you see my baby lashes this is not this is not what you're about to see but for the video i accidentally deleted my intro and my outro so you'll see that my outro is jacked up and my intro is jacked up but it doesn't matter because the content is there and i'm trying y'all asked for this okay I'm, I'm trying i'm so glad that you guys are enjoying my videos um i'm in atlanta right now don't ask me how i got here i appreciate you guys so much please let me know if there's anything you want to see in the future i love you guys make sure you like this video comment make sure you subscribe make sure you're subscribed to my channel because if you are not subscribed to my channel you never loved me also follow me on my other platforms too I'm just saying you need to be better. All right, you know what? I love you guys so, 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 so much. Enjoy the video. Flashback. I did my eyebrows off camera because it takes me a long time and I just, I can't handle that much pressure. I'll tell you that all the time. We're going to do my eyeshadow. Now, this is my everyday go-to look. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Like, you guys have seen me with this type of makeup all the time. So, we're just going to jump right into it. Let's get into it. So I'm using my, this palette, let me show you, this one from NYX and I'm literally taking, I really only mess with like these couple of browns, like this one at the top and these two. So my transition color is always that top like neutral brown color, boom, not that much. I start on the outside of my eye and I cheeky 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 right down and then I blend like a mother. Okay, so I've done this eye off camera, as you can see. This is my normal everyday go-to eye. I use a different brown. Normally I use the more toned down brown. It's kind of picking up orange on camera. Anytime you see me with my basic eye, I always use my Hoola bronzer. Once my bronzer hits pan like this, it automatically becomes an eyeshadow. Like the minute that I can't swivel my face brush in it and get good pickup for like when I want to contour, it becomes an eyeshadow. And then I use the combination of these three brown um we are going to pretend we didn't hear that i'm gonna show you guys how i got this eye and i did this in literally like less than five minutes so taking like i said i'm dipping my brush into those few browns and i'm gonna try to hold my mirror down so i'm not blinding you guys and then i start here and i pack on the color there's really no when it comes to me i can't speak for other people who do this stuff precision doesn't exist i'm literally gonna breeze through this because i have things to do today sometimes i get lucky and it looks like i really tried hard but majority of the time i'm doing this like i'm literally breezing through and i drag it all the way over here all the way over there but i want to focus the color primarily on this side of my eye all right so i need a little bit more color like over here Alrighty, I'm gonna add a little bit of a darker brown. Now, before I do a deeper shade in my outer V, I wanna take my Anastasia eye primer. This is an Anastasia brush, but the letters wore off. Oh, I'm lying, it's the number 18. I can see the number. This is my favorite brush to cut creases with. So, I'm just trying to make sure that I stay within frame so you guys can see me. Can you see me? Okay, you can see me. Okay, bow. So then, I like to do a stamping motion when making the shape. Today feels like a day to buy sneakers. Is there any sneaker that I don't have that's calling my name? So, I don't like for it to be patchy. So once I make that initial shape, the rest of the lid where the primer is, I like to just pat it. Cause once you have, if you have a chunk of um, eyeshadow primer, the eyeshadow is gonna like stick to it and it's just not gonna look, nothing about that shit is cute. My favorite holy grail eyelid, plain as day, vanilla eyeshadow, believe it or not, is wet, wet and Wild. And I've been using this since I started getting into makeup. Like I remember this being one of the first eyeshadows, individual shadows that I've ever purchased. I've probably gone through 50 of these things in the past 10 years. This is like my favorite lid color. A brush like this, right? 
then I pack it on top of my primer. And I know you're probably wondering, how is this gonna become that? But trust the process. That brown brush that we were using before, I'm just gonna go over the crease. Didn't pick up any extra shadow. Just gonna go over that crease. This little shit, this little brush, this is an e.l.f. brush, right? This is another brush too. This is the e.l.f. eye pencil, pointed eye pencil brush. This brush is fire. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a darker brown. I'm gonna go in my outer corner and right where those two colors meet, I'm just gonna go on top of it and notice I'm doing a padding motion. Then I take that fluffy brush, right? Nothing on it. This is the same fluffy brush that we use for like our crease and our outer in the beginning. And I'm here just softening it, kind of diffusing it so it's not just a harsh line of where that eyeshadow ended. I just wanted to have a little bit, tiny bit more depth. So adding that. Ooh, I made that a lot darker than the other side. So hold on. Top of the liner. I'm gonna finesse this. Don't nobody gotta know. And if they do know they're in your fucking business. I did that. I'm gonna blend that up. Now for the money maker. Y'all already know wings are my thing. I, I like wings. It's my thing. I like a good wing. I'm a one trick pony. So what? Sue me. And I don't give a fuck. Hey. So this is my, look at what the fuck just happened. <laughs> oh, my pajamas are black. The NYX matte eyeliner is hands down my favorite eyeliner of all time. So now the nerve wracking part of trying to mimic this wing, cause this is a good wing today, but I normally always F up. So here's how I do my wings in case you didn't know. I always start at the end of the corner. Right, and I fill in the blank. Okay. Notice how I haven't dipped back in yet and I have my entire lid covered. Now it's time to do the wing part. And this is the tricky part because I'm thoroughly enjoying my right side today. So I want to make a match. Here's where I messed up. Normally I always do my hard side first and then my easy side and I did it in reverse. So now I'm not even done with this wing yet and I can tell you right now they're not gonna match. This one's gonna be thicker. So that means I'm gonna have to go over this one to make them match. But this just goes to show that I'm, I, this is, you, you guys think I got it together? I don't have it together. I never claim to. Two completely different wings. <sighs> Why you couldn't look like the other one? All right, so now we gotta fix the boo boo. Now we gotta make you thicker. Yep. That's I'm, I don't care. One is one is a little bit higher. Right now my wings are like this, but I don't care because you know I'm gonna put on some big ass dookie lashes. And I don't want this to be like the last video where my lashes and my, no, no. This is the part where I have to bow out gracefully and say, chill out, Samantha, because you're gonna look like an effing panda. So I'm gonna prime now. I usually prime before I put on my falsies because then by the time I'm done putting on my falsies, my skin is nice and tacky and ready for foundation. So I'm using the milk. What the fuck is this called? Grip primer. Grip. I gotta get my mind out the gutter. So I have my lashes on. You may be able to hear me better now because I turned off the AC. My lashes are on. I'm just, once I put them on and I place them in their position to where I want them, I do fidget them around a little bit just to make sure that they're sitting nicely. I wasn't happy about my wings. You guys knew that. But the fact that these kind of have like a more wispier end, it kind of camouflages my jacked up wings. And in all honesty, a lot of times you guys are like, oh my God, your wing came out so good. No, it's just good lashes. And these are the linked up lashes in the style lover. I'll link the their Instagram and their website down below. So today we're going to do, I'm torn if I want to do drugstore or if I want to do stick foundation. Like what, what, what kind of vibe am I giving today? I love to be matte. AF, but I want a little bit of glow today. So I'm going to take 
This is the Urban Decay brush in the E203. Take that like this and just on the high points of my face, I'm literally just gonna blend that in just to give me like a natural glow. So when I put my foundation on top, this is gonna kind of peek through. I do not do this all of the time unless I know I'm gonna be taking pictures and I want my shits to be a F and one. A little bit on my forehead. If you can see, boom, that little glow shit, it goes a long way. All right, so as far as foundation, double wear. We're doing double wear today. I have not done double wear in so long. And I love double wear with everything in me. I genuinely love this foundation. Got my beauty sponge. Don't ask questions. It was black at one point. And I do clean it. So shut your face hole. I pour about the size of a nickel onto my mixing tray because you don't need that much. This is such a full coverage foundation. You do not need a lot. I love double wear. I swear to God, I love double wear. It's such a good foundation. You did that, Estee. Estee, you did that. The day you woke up and you said, yo, I'm gonna make some razzle dazzle shit. I don't know if you cooked it in your kitchen or whatever. I don't know how this these things come about, but you did that. So I don't need a lot. I literally focus it primarily on my cheeks, along my jawline. I try to get as close to whatever that part of my ear is because I do not like a harsh line in my foundation. I try to like minimize how much of the product goes into my hairline boom i look crazy i didn't do my nose yet i have a little bit left so using that same urban decay brush that i did with the highlighter i like to go around here here and here and then i'll blend it now this is just my foundation this has nothing to do with highlight and contour but i gotta make sure i get in the crevices of my beak foundation is on i look crazy but trust the process so as far as concealer today lately and this has been working for me and i want to keep it up i've been using the derma blend uh what is this called derma blend cover care full coverage concealer i like this concealer a lot i do not need a lot i don't double dip so i put maybe like two dots here two dots there one little dot here one little dot there here here and two on my chin right that's it let me talk to elf real quick so e.l.f. came out with these full coverage concealers. 16 hour camo concealer. This is the matte one, right? This stuff is no joke. This stuff will cover your sins. I don't need a lot. I do not like a lot, especially because my under eye area creases. I try not to put too much product under there. This is a lot lighter than the Derma Blend. So I use this more for brightening as opposed to coverage. But once they blend together, you'll see. Um, did this eye off of camera. Um, now I'm going to blend out this side and set it with powder. When I'm blending this out, I do like to drag it down a little bit. I've said this to you guys in other videos. I don't like it when my concealer ends like harsh. I like it to like melt into the next shade. So now that that's blended to my likings, I'm going to take my translucent powder, which is the Anastasia translucent powder, which I feel like people weren't making that much noise about this powder and this is a good powder and they give she gives you a lot i don't bake let's be clear i don't bake i'm not a baker i don't find the purpose in baking because my under eyes are already dry me putting that much powder just makes no sense to me honestly i'm going to now contour contour so i contour with my bronzer i've said it dozens of times the benefit hula bronzer is my favorite holy grail bronzer of all time so i usually start it out here and i do circular motions hold on oh okay i went a little bit crazy here but i'm gonna show you how i fix that okay along my hairline if anyone asks like oh why do you do your hairline if your forehead's not that big it's to eliminate that harsh line of where my foundation ends I like I just don't want my makeup to look like a mask even though technically it is a mask like if we're being realistic I don't want it to look like one all right so I'm not dipping in anymore I'm just moving this stuff around this looks really 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 harsh so I'm taking my face powder brush that I would use for like my regular face powder all right don't need a lot of powder I'm gonna dip in one two and just go over it just to soften it a bit feel a lot better about that purpose of contouring is to give me shape because before this I looked like a damn toe yeah, I know I'm not crazy about blush. You know I'm not a blush girl. Not big on the blush, but I'm going to put some on today. And this is Peaceful from Tarte. 
little like literally the smallest amount of blush it's only because again i'm taking pictures today and i just i don't want to look washed out even then i feel like that's too much blush like that's casey loves blush me no in between all of this i usually do in between spritzes because i don't like to look dusty or powdery so right now i'm gonna do a quick mist uh this is the milani make it last matte spray i usually don't feel like my look is complete until i do my lip so i'm gonna do my lip now there's two pencils that i absolutely adore as far as when i do my lips uh I used to wear a lot of like crazy bold colors back in the days, but now I'm like nude. Nude in the gloss, that's it. Nude me, gloss me, leave me alone. So this is Nude Truffle by NYX. Spiffy by Morphe, I only found at the Morphe store. But this Nude Truffle, I probably got like six on deck. Bow. I'm gonna overdraw my lips. Lip liners on. Now for gloss. I'm low key obsessed with these. I just recently got them. These are the Maybelline Lifter Glosses, Lift Gloss. I love the way they smell. They smell like cake batter. Like, oh, I love that. So I live a life of excess. And I have like seven of these in different colors. This might be my new favorite drugstore lip gloss. Oh, I like that shit. You like that shit? Because I like that shit. All right, highlighter. What do we want to do today, guys? The Hyper Real Highlight Trio is so slept on, I feel like, by Matt. Casey and I recently passed by a MAC and we saw that they were on sale and we both agreed like highlight trio is so slept on. So before I put on my highlight, I told you guys this before I like to wet my skin. I'm gonna come closer. My skin is nice and wet. So in case you're wondering, I'm using a mixture of these two shades and just going right over here. When I go on my vacation to Jamaica, I'm probably gonna take this with me. Only because I feel like I'm going to be so tan. I'm going to be like a toasted almond. And don't fucking talk to me when that happens. Like, if you thought that you were going to be able to actually speak to me, you're done. Well, that darker shade, I'm just going to put a little bit here. Like, where my bronzer above. Like, where my bronzer... Oh, that's too dark. Hold on. And I put a little bit above my, above my brow bone. Just to give me, like... Ooh, look at that. My skin looks wet. And the final step of everything, Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray extends the wear of your makeup for 16 hours, has temperature controlling ingredients in it to cool you down if you get hot. This is for combination skin. They have different formulas for different skin types. Can you tell I like this? If you're asking why I drown myself in setting spray, I live in New York effing city and it's hot. Friends, where was I going without doing my lower lash line? Where was I going? Should I do a color? Should I do a color? What sneakers am I gonna wear today? That's gonna determine if I'm gonna do a color. So we're gonna do green on the lower lash line. This is the Urban Decay 24 seven glide on pencil in the color Electric Empire. A lot of times I won't stray away from Urban Decay eyeliners. They're just good. They're creamy, they're pigmented. Like a lot of my like eye products that are Holy Grail are definitely from Urban Decay. Like ain't nobody messing with them when it comes to this pencil stuff. Boom. And as you can see, my concealing stuff is already creasing. That's why I don't bake. This does not have to be precise. Reason being is because I'm gonna smudge it. With this particular pencil, when they initially glide on, they're super creamy, super blendable. But once they set, ah, they don't move. My liner, it don't move. So I'm gonna take this angled brush and literally just smudge it. You're more than welcome to stop right there. But you know me, I live a life of excess. I'm gonna add a little razzle dazzle and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. If you're planning on recreating this look, you absolutely could just leave it like that. You, No one is saying you have to do what I'm about to do. But this is what I'm gonna do. All right, bow. I'm gonna take this bright ass green right here, this one, and I'm gonna smudge out that electric empire. It's gonna make sense. Just to avoid a lot of fallout, I'm going to do packing motions at first just to place it. Like I'm stamping the color there. Once that's stamped, I'm going to take a clean brush with no product on it and just gently wiggle it around just so it doesn't look harsh. I like that green shit. Or like, look at the difference. Can you see that? You can see me, friend? I'm going to do the other side, put on a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes, come back, and we're going to wrap this shit up. End of flashback. Greetings from the future, friend. 
so it's about what time is it right now maybe like 10 hours later from when i did my makeup this morning and filmed it and i was like oh let me start editing and i realized i didn't film an outro <laughs> Yep, I didn't film an outro. You could see this delicious ass. All right, you know what? Um, I hope you like this video. I took my time. I hope I redeemed myself from that other makeup fail. Um, if you haven't seen the makeup fail, I'll link it down below too. I love you guys. I'm tired. These eyebrows hold up today, though. I'm gonna tell you that. Make sure you like the video, comment, share it if it was informative and you want to help somebody else learn how to do this shit and make sure you follow me on all my other socials and until we meet again my beautiful little bevel babies i love you so 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 much peep my crock up in the air i gotta stay on tiktok Grrr, pow, friends